Alright, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Saturday the 24th of February 2024 and today we have got game number 73 of the 23-24 season on the channel. Ready back to the Eco Power Stadium for Doncaster Rovers versus AFC Wimbledon in League 2. So in today's video we've got my thoughts pre-halftime and post-match as well as the match day vlog itself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, let's get in some pre-match thoughts. Okay, so as per usual, it's time for my pre-match thoughts just before kickoff. So we're going to start off with my team and host for today, Doncaster Rovers, and we are currently in 20th position in League 2. And so far this season, we've had 10 wins, 6 draws, and 16 defeats. And our last match was an absolute cracker, to be fair. Um, last Saturday, we were away at Grinsby, and we won by 5 goals to 1. All I'm going to say is just, just check my match day vlog from that. It, I'll link it somewhere above my head, but honestly, just go back and watch that. It is absolutely incredible, and the video speaks for itself. That's why I love doing stuff like this, just moments like that, and being able to capture it, capture the fans, you know, capture everything about the day. Um, it was just superb. I mean, second half especially, we were absolutely excellent. Um, we started so quick as well. We scored um, two goals in eight minutes, uh, one on the sixth, one on the eighth, so... I'd literally, like, players have gone back to centre, are about to, you know, record my thoughts on first goal, and next thing I know, we're running forward, and we've scored a second, so I don't have time, so I had to do uh, both on one clip, but honestly, absolutely incredible. And then, Greens have got a penalty, um, which they scored, which uh, the nerves start to creep in as we went into half-time 2-1 up, and then, like I say, when that third goal went in in the second half, you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief, in a way, because um, that kind of secured the three points. Grinsby you know, just fell apart, to be honest with you, and we capitalised, and yeah, felt pretty unreal, to be fair, I mean, um, it's kind of weird when you have stuff like that, because you don't, you're not, you, you know, we've had such an awful three years or so, you know, we just deserve to enjoy that, and um, that's certainly what I did, uh, because you kind of forget what that feels like, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I can't remember a lot of the game, um, because I was just shocked, I was just, what, like, Take, soaking it all in, taking it all in, like watching the fans, watching everything about it. It was just incredible. And um, yeah, it's a memory that, you know, I'll live long into, um, you know, <laughs> me supporting the Rovers. So after that then, we've now um, gone four games unbeaten with two wins and two draws. And uh, most crucially now, we've uh, given ourselves a bit of a gap from us and the relegation zone. And uh, the interesting thing is, we're actually closer to the playoffs than we are to the relegation zone. We're 13 points off uh, 23rd but we're 12 points off of 7th so um, I'm not saying we're making a playoff push but you know it's uh, it's good to see um, and I think we just need to finish the season as strong as possible I know I keep saying it but we need to build as much momentum as we can so we can take that into next season and now moving on to uh, the away team AFC Wimbledon who are currently in ninth place in League 2 two places outside the playoffs so they've won 12 drawn 11 and lost 10 games so far this season, with the last of the losses being in the last game, which was a 1-0 home defeat to Crawley Town. So, they're now currently winless in three games. So, they are still around playoffs with AFC Wimbledon. Um, it is very close, like I say, between them teams, um, you know, around the playoffs. Like, there's not many points in it at all. So, you know, one win can see them in playoffs. One win, I mean, one loss can see them move, like, all the way down to 12th. So, very, very little in, in it, to be honest with you. So, their season is... Definitely not over. But one thing that was a shame for Wimbledon was their top uh, striker, Ali Al Hamadi. Um, he went to Ipswich Town in January. And um, yeah, he scored a boatload of goals for Wimbledon, to be fair, in the first half of the season. He got two against us in the last game. Um, and yeah, he's gone off to Ipswich. But we have brought in uh, Josh Kelly from Solihull, who um, is a very highly rated player in the National League. 
He's not been able to get off the mark yet um, since he joined Wimbledon. But, you know, I said the same about Longstaff at Notts County. And, um, yeah, he got two against us. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you know what's probably going to happen here. So going into previous results between these two teams then, I'll start it off from last season. So one of the first away games, um, we once again, like the season before, came back from 2-0 down to draw 2 all at Wimbledon. And then we won the reverse fixture by two goals to one at home, which was one of our only wins in that dire, you know, that dire stretch of two wins since middle of February. And um, then this season, as I said before, we lost 2-0 away at Wimbledon in the reverse fixture with um, El Hamedi getting both goals. So I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction for today then. So do I think we're going to get a win back and make it one all, or are Wimbledon going to get a win and try and move a bit closer to the playoffs? My prediction is... I think we're going to do it today. I think Wimbledon's not in best of form, and I think... Like I said, after that 5-1, there just seems to be a bit of a buzz around the club at the minute. And hopefully, I think we're going to carry that forward. Um, like I said, I could be wrong, but hopefully I am right. So I'm going to go for Doncaster Rovers 2, AFC Wimbledon 1, just like last season. Anyway, that's it for my pre-match thoughts then. So let's head on back to the Eco Power Stadium and let's see how today's game goes. <laughs> Sonny and Lincoln with the goal and um, to be fair quite a match I've literally just sat down and we've scored so um, not really saw too much but a great finish into the bottom corner from Anna Lincoln um, and everyone carries on throughout the match we want me to attack here again but it's one defended by Wimbledon um, like I say a great start everyone keep it up everyone keep its lead and get three points on board still 1-0 to the Rovers where are you going? oh look at that squad yeah. So about three minutes away from half time and not a lot's happened since I got to the fair, it's been a very quiet game. Uh, there's been a few chances where both teams were for, but apart from that, nothing really significant from either team's to the fair. So hopefully it's not going to happen for half time, it's still 1 0 to the Rovers. Jesus Christ! <laughs> So just for one minute by the time added on to the end of this half. Half time, 1-0 to the Rovers. There we go. So at half time, it's Doncaster Rovers 1 at AFC Wimbledon. Nil, and um, to be honest, like I say, we had a great start to fair, getting in very early and getting that goal, which put us pretty comfortable in that half, to be fair. And um, I'll be honest, it's been a pretty quiet half from both teams, to be fair. Um, like I say, we've had that lead from very early on in the first half so we can kind of sit on that lead and um kind of just like like i say we don't have to take too many risks as such um you know we can play it forward when we want to and uh, we can also sit back and um not kind of commit too many players forward when we don't really need to um it's been kind of that type of game i mean we've kept wimbledon pretty quiet and to be fair they've not looked brilliant at all i mean i've not been too impressed with himself so far in the first half especially attacking wise it feels like it feels like they are kind of missing uh, Al Hamadi, to be fair, just a bit. But um, yeah, um, it, you know we're playing pretty well, to be fair. No real complaints from me. Um, it's been a quite game with not too many chances either way, to be fair. And um, so yeah, there's not really a lot to report on at half time other than that. So I think the best way to um, to go on with this video is to get straight into some second half action. So without further ado, let's get into the second half. And let's see how the rest of the game goes. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go on. Ah. Come on. Here we go, two subs coming on. Um, Maxwell for Nixon is the first one, and then begins four waters is the second. So it'll be interesting to see what these guys can add, and we'll see forward to see what waters can add. He's not. He's been pretty quiet lately, so hope they can pull the buzz today. Um, still nil to the Rovers, so hopefully these subs can make an impact. Let's see what we've got. Go on! Shoot. Okay. 
I'll take five minutes, go on still one, I'll take Rovers. Um, not a great as happened. <laughs> <laughs> not a great as happened in the second half to be um, Not really a lot of chances at all either way. And um, yeah, it's been pretty quiet. Neither team really creating anything out of it. Um, I was sitting on one 0 which to be fair I would take. It's um, yeah, it's better than maybe having a one 0 win chasing the game and there's not a lot happening. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll keep us going. I mean, if we sit back for 15 minutes and so be it, I don't care as long as we get the win back. So, really all that matters. So one more took over so far. Hopefully we can keep this till the end of the game. Go on, go on. Go on, you go on that side. Oh, it's a well there. Oh, look it. Come on, go on the ball. Let's go. Oh, oh, look here. Oh, okay, come on. No 1-0 to Rovers, about four minutes to go. Uh, Rovers just been on top so far, to be fair. So, Will was not like getting anywhere into this game. Keep her, keep her. Um, and, yeah, we're just, just not been here at all. Uh, Rovers are just, like I say, I wouldn't say have been dominant by any stretch, but we just had a good strong cut ball in the second half and we would have not looked lightly at all to get back into this game so um, hopefully we can pick on him his last four minutes plus stoppage time um, but yeah it's been pretty impressive from Rovers if ever they've, they've got the lead and they've controlled the lead pretty well in my opinion so hopefully we can get this going for the last four minutes so so far Rovers won win more than nil Come on, again! Five minutes of added time at the end of this game. Five minutes. Uh, let's run me to go here. And the strikers literally just makes it more to the main and clean contact by it's 2-0, but nevertheless, we miss it, it's still 1-0 and um, there's probably seconds to go here. Still 1 0 Rovers. Please, please, let's swing on to this lead. Hey! Come on! Come on! Let's go! I was here! I was here! February! Full time has finished Doncaster Rovers 1, AFC Wimbledon 0. And I'll be honest, that game has been far from a classic, but let's be honest, Donny Rovers did exactly what they needed to do to win that game. And they got a result from it, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, like I say, it weren't a classic um, for either team, to be honest with you, but I thought we defended really well. I thought we did exactly what we needed to do to get the win. Like I say, we scored very early on and we just shut shop and did what we needed to do. And like I say, points on the board at the minute is the most important thing. And we've got all three points today, which is absolutely fantastic. And now we're five games unbeaten. Like I say, one, three, drawn, two, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is exactly what we need. I think we need, to, like I say, I keep saying it over and over again. We need to finish the season as strong as we can, get them points on the board and just build as much momentum for next season as possible. I know a lot of people are talking about a playoff run. Um let, let's just, I mean, fair enough, let's talk about it, but whatever. Let's just get off at line first. Let's just focus one game. I think we just need to focus one game at a time. Let's see where it takes us. And if that's good enough for playoffs, it is. If not, which I'm expecting, then, um, you know, so be it. At least we'll finish the season on a high. And that's just going to roll over into next season and is, you know, going to do us no harm whatsoever. It's been, like I say, not a classic, but we've done what we need to do. We got three points. Um and yeah, it's really, really good. And we're gonna move into the next game with a lot of confidence and hopefully we can get another victory and add to our unbeaten streak. But 
Nevertheless, I'm going to leave the video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, so the next video on the channel is going to be next Tuesday. We've got Aversley Recreation versus Retford United. So make sure you stick around for that video. So in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.